The Sewing Machine Main Parts and Functions The Sewing Machine Bobbin Winder This allows you to wind the thread onto the bobbin. Spool Pin and Cap The main function of the spool pin is to hold the spool of thread. The spool pin cap hold the thread securely on the spool pin. Thread Guide The thread guide lead the thread to the needle, it also makes sure the thread stays in place while you're sewing. Thread Tension Dial This controls the amount of thread that can pass through the machine to create the stitch. The more thread in the stitch, then the looser the stitch. The less thread, the tighter the stitch will be. Thread Take Up Lever This controls the flow of the needle thread. Thread Take Up Lever moves up and down with the needle. Needle Clamp The needle clamp holds the needle in place. Presser Foot The presser foot holds down the fabric flat while it is sewing. Presser Foot Lifter The presser foot lifter is used to lift and lower the presser foot. Throat Plate Slash Needle Plate This is a metal plate that is situated under the needle and presser foot. The needle goes down through the throat plate to pick up the bobbin thread in order to form stitches. It also has marks that helps to gauge how far your stitches are from the edge of the fabric. Feed Dog These are metal teeth that are situated on the throat plate that feeds the fabric along while it has been sewn. Slide Plate The sewing machine slide plate covers the bobbin area while the machine is stitching. Bobbin Case The purpose of the bobbin case is to hold the bobbin in the sewing machine so that the machine stitches can be formed. Hand Wheel Slash Balance Wheel This is used to raise and lower the needle. It is most often used to sink the needle before you start a seam, or to raise the needle once you have finished a seam. This is done by turning it towards you. Stop Motion Screw This is used to hinder the movement of the machine when loosened, and enable it to start moving when tightened. Reverse Stitch Lever This allows you to stitch backward to reinforce your seam at the beginning or end of a stitch. Stitch Width Dial The stitch width adjustment gives the machine the ability to go from a straight line stitch to a zigzag stitch. It also allows you to select the width of the zigzag stitch. Stitch Length Dial Stitch length dial is used to control the length of the stitch. Power switch The power switch on a sewing machine control both the power and the light on the machine. Foot pedal slash speed control The foot pedal is pressed down to start stitching, the harder you press the faster the machine stitches, the gentler you press the slower the machine stitches. Thanks for watching. If you found the video interesting please show your support by liking the video and subscribe to the channel.